Hi everyone, this is Maverick Pa, the Chemistry Guru. Now in today's video, we want to discuss how to determine an unknown group 2 metal from the thermal decomposition of its nitrate. So let's take a look at today's exercise. A 5 gram sample of an anhydrous group 2 metal nitrate loses 3.29 gram in mass when heated strongly. So we want to identify this group 2 metal. Now the decomposition involving my group 2 nitrate is as such. We actually don't really need to know what the products are because we just need to understand that if I have a group 2 metal nitrate under thermal decomposition, what I will end up with is a metal oxide and the remaining species are driven out as gases. Now the products are actually nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. So by right, we should be able to balance this equation. But again, if we don't know what the products are in terms of gaseous product, as long as we know that the metal nitrate will decompose to metal oxide and the rest of the species will be driven off as gases, that is sufficient for us to identify this unknown metal. Because all the gases that is lost in terms of mass is 3.29 gram. So what I can do is I can just work out the difference. At the beginning, I have 5 gram of my nitrate. After that, the question mentioned that the loss in mass is 3.29 gram. So this means that the mass of your metal oxide which will just be the difference, right? 5.00 gram minus 3.29 gram. I'll be left with this mass 1.71 gram of your metal oxide. So this is the information that we have so far. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to make use of the mass of your metal oxide and the mass of your metal nitrate to identify your compound. So the formula that we are using is actually this idea here, the mass ratio of your metal oxide to nitrate is equal to the molar mass ratio for your metal oxide to your metal nitrate. Now this equation actually works on this basis. Your compound is two or more elements chemically combined together in a fixed proportion. So the proportion of the elements with respect to the compound is in a fixed proportion. So if I consider your metal nitrate, in one unit of metal nitrate, I will have one unit of metal oxide. And the proportion of your metal oxide to your metal nitrate is in a fixed proportion. Regardless of the mass, if I have one gram of your metal nitrate, the proportion of your metal oxide to metal nitrate will be in a fixed proportion. If you have one kilo of your metal nitrate, the proportion of your metal oxide to your metal nitrate will be in the same proportion. So this means that the mass ratio for your oxide to your nitrate is in a fixed proportion regardless of the quantity that we are using. So what we do is we tag it to the molar mass because we can find out the molar mass for your metal oxide and the molar mass for your metal nitrate using information from the periodic table. So this is the formula that we are using. Mass ratio equals to molar mass ratio and we know that the mass of your metal oxide, which we have already determined, is actually 1.71 gram. So this is 1.71 gram. And the mass of your metal nitrate is 5.00 gram. So let us try to work this out. We know that the molar mass ratio for your metal oxide to metal nitrate is equal to the mass ratio for metal oxide to metal nitrate. We substitute all these values in here, 1.71 gram for the mass for metal oxide, 5 gram for the mass for metal nitrate. I'll get this value 0.342. So I know that the molar mass ratio for oxide to nitrate is 0.342. Now, the next thing we can do is since the question gives me four possible identity for your group 2 metal, magnesium, calcium, strontium, and barium, I can determine the molar mass ratio for your magnesium oxide to your nitrate. And we do that for the, all these metals. I find the molar mass for calcium oxide to calcium nitrate, strontium oxide to strontium nitrate, barium oxide to barium nitrate. And I work out this ratio and we see which one will correspond to 0.342. And from there, we can identify my group 2 metal. So the calculation is actually here, the molar mass ratio for your magnesium oxide to magnesium nitrate 
will just be the molar mass for your magnesium oxide. 24.3 is the atomic mass for magnesium. 16.0 obviously is the atomic mass for oxygen divided by, this is the molar mass for your magnesium nitrate, 24.3 for magnesium. Then nitrate, the molar mass is 14.0 plus 16.0 times 3. Since I have two nitrates, so this whole thing I'll multiply by 2. In terms of calculation-wise, uh, this will work out to be 24.3 plus 16.0 over 24.3 plus 124.0. So the ratio that we get is 0 0.271. Now remember what we want to work towards is I want to see which value will give me this 0 0.342. So we have to do the calculation for each of these options for my magnesium, calcium, strontium, and barium. Now basically the formula is here. We are using this same guy here. The only difference will be my group 2 metal. So all I need to do is I just need to replace the atomic mass for magnesium with the atomic mass for calcium and strontium and barium. So the calculation is here, and we can calculate that the molar mass of your calcium oxide to calcium nitrate, we can determine this to be 0 0.342, and the same calculation involving strontium oxide to strontium nitrate will be 0 0.490, and the molar mass ratio for barium oxide to barium nitrate will work out to be 0 0.587. So it's actually fairly simple for us to do this calculation, even though it's a little bit tedious, but calculating this guy, again, is just making use of this very simple expression that we have here. Mass ratio equals to molar mass ratio. So we can do the calculation and we have determined all these different molar mass ratio. Now, what we can do is we can do the comparison. Remember what we have calculated previously, the mass ratio is calculated to be 0 0.342. And what I want to do now is which of this molar mass ratio involving magnesium, calcium, strontium, or barium, which of this molar mass ratio has the same value, 0 0.342. We have actually already done the calculation. You notice the one involving calcium actually fits this very, very nicely. The molar mass for calcium oxide to the molar mass for calcium nitrate will be 0 0.342. So in this case, we can identify that the group 2 metal will be calcium. Alright, so that was the discussion involving this exercise, targeting the thermal decomposition of your group 2 salts. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.